be right out. You got a minute? I'm late for work. This won't take long. Fuck! Exactly! What the fuck is this? What? What are you going through my things? Oh no, don't you even try that approach. Right. Let me dry off, okay? What, so you're gonna just leave without telling me? You're gonna go, oh honey, I'm going to the store for some x lax and then never come back? We talked about this before, Tara. This isn't something new. Talk is one thing. This is a ticket to the Middle East. I can't stay here. What about your job? You mean the one you're making me late for? Oh, right. Okay, it's my fault. I'm making you late for work. Sit down. You can't just wander off. You're not a kid anymore. You can't just go Don't right tell me what I can't or cannot do. You want to settle down, and that's cool. I don't. I said that right from the fucking start. Yeah, well, talk is one thing, but this... This is saying you'd rather wander around the war capitals of the world and stay here with me. I like there's no violence in L.A. One of your best friends... Can you just stop for a second and think about what you're giving up? You think I haven't? No, I don't think you have. Because I'll tell you one thing you're not going to find out there in Cairo or anywhere else, and that's me. That would be different if you were... A scientist and you wanted to explore the rainforest or you were a businessman and you wanted to open an office in Beijing, that would be something totally, totally different. But you're so goddamn vague about it. It's not like you're running towards something, you're running away from something. And I think by the time you realize that and you come back to get what you left behind, it's going to be too late. I know you don't want to hear this, but I love you, Gus. Don't you think I love you too? I don't know. Do ya? Of course I do. I love you, Tear. But I can't stay. And if what we've got's not strong enough to last till I come back, then that's something I gotta risk. I've never left California. I've never even made it past community college, and I can't give you a list of reasons why I gotta do this, but that night when Vincey did that shit, I just kept thinking I'd lived this totally sheltered life. That all this shit's happening to all these people, but everything that happens to me is through you and people I know. I mean, I was having this totally fucking bizarre experience. But then I realized I wasn't having any experience, that I was just watching. I mean, I mean, not that I want to be doing so that Vinci did, but I gotta just start doing something on my own. I don't know what, but it's gotta be out there and it's gotta be on my own, and that's the best way I can put it. Baby, you just gotta let him go. What else can you do? I could break both his fucking legs so he'd have to cancel his stupid trip. <laughs> you got any brandy to go in this? Sarah, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so? What's your point? We should be drinking Bloody Marys. You know, it's really hard for me to believe that Gus will pull this kind of crap on me, but I find it even harder to believe that Serena hasn't called you yet. Well, that's gonna happen sooner or later. Well... All right, we don't know anything for sure, so let's not jump to conclusions. Why don't you tell me what happened and start from the beginning? Oh, Megan probably just poisoned the damn cat to get Serena over there. I mean, really, Robin. Did you take him to the vet? You're the first one I called. Thank you. I'll be right there. Did you have what? Her car is in the shop, so I told her to take my truck. What? What are you, nuts? Since when is Megan so helpless? She's acting like a little bitty dainty girl. If I can't trust Serena, then I don't... All right, even... okay, hold on. It's not a matter of trusting Serena, okay? It's a matter of separating the sheep from the wolves. And speaking of wolves, where the hell is that stupid Jared? How come he couldn't drive her over there? Because he's out of town on business. He'll be back on Monday. Hey! So what happened? You broke a finger? You can't pick up a phone and call poor Robin here? I've been putting all kinds of sick ideas in her head. Oh, I'm sorry. One kid. Oh, okay, look. We were driving around all night trying to find a stupid vet. And then when we did, they had to pump Mr. Mitten's stomach and then hook him up to an IV. And then, then we couldn't find a payphone. <laughs> No, no, we couldn't find a payphone at uh, work, and, and we just lost track of time. I'm sorry, baby. How sorry? I'm really sorry. Really sorry? Mm -hmm. I guess I'm not needed around here anymore. I'll just go somewhere else to be miserable. Bye. I'm glad you're alive. Bye. I'm glad you didn't get your stomach pumped out. Bye. 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 Oh, Thank you.
I try to make it up to them in some way, you know, like uh, bake them a good dessert, buy some flowers, you know, something. And at that moment, I knew that was going to be the best fucking breakfast ever. Hi, Vincy. This is Tara. I know you're still working through things, but I thought I'd call and give you a weekly update on what's going on. Though, you have to swear not to tell anybody. Of course, you're not talking to anyone, so who are you going to tell? Okay. Dwight and Diego. They broke up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And um, me and Gus are having lots and lots of sex, though I don't have to tell you that because we always do, but he's shooting good ones. I can feel it. Anyhow, enough about me. I know you're dying to hear what's going on with Megan and Serena and Robin, so... I can take that criticism. Mm -hmm. I'm a big man. Good. Um, go to the gym. No. Mm -hmm. Hello? Turn on channel 3 right now. What? Turn on channel 3 right now, right now, right now. To give that... A new perspective, um, but let me let me oh talk my about God. Okay. Um, we did a, a storyline about a gay basher who winds up getting getting raped and, ah! and beaten by his intended victim. Now, I could call Dwight yeah, it was intense. Okay, bye. And you really, I'll be able to recognize it. And look, three years ago, I never would have dreamed that I would be sitting at my computer, writing stories and sending them over the telephone lines into other people's houses. Hmm. So maybe. Maybe love now will will look differently. Who knows? Wow. How enlightened Shaka Butu of you. That is so <laughs> Shaka clear. Shaka Butu. And Vincy, you've just been a pleasure. It is God a bless Cable. Here. Thanks for being on Fags Online. We'll see you all later. Now, as dramatic as I know I am, I promised myself I was not going to make a big deal about this baby. In fact, I haven't even told Gus about it. Not yet. I'm going to wait until after the baby's born, and even then it's got to be handled very carefully. I don't want to make it seem like it's a desperate ploy intended to lure him back, so I'm going to wait until later. And I haven't told my mother or my brother yet. I haven't really told anybody. I'm going to wait again until after the baby's born, because, <laughs> you see, I know how people, in general, have a much easier time loving cute little babies than they do loving unwed pregnant women, so I'm just going to wait. But in the meantime, I've had all my tests. I've had my ultrasound test, my 8PP test, my blood test, my urine test, all the tests. I've had them all, and everything's normal, so there's nothing really extraordinary about this baby except that it's mine. It's my baby. And this baby is going to have all the love in the world.